Hey everybody, I'm JP Heath, new voice of the Rice House, and of course this is Nate Griffin, my color commentator on the radio dials. Welcome to this 2012 football preview edition. We've had a lot of fun in the offseason. I know August 30th can't get here soon enough. I think there are lots of reasons to be excited. Obviously, new defense, new offense, no question. Lots of experience on both sides of the ball. I think it's going to be a very, very good season and an exciting season for Rice House fans. A few changes on the football field, a few changes around Rice Stadium that you'll notice, but look forward to a good informative preview here. Well, once again, I think fans can be excited about what they're going to see. The changes that you just talked about around Rice Stadium, it's going to be a very exciting season once again. Let's get to it without further ado. Yes, sir. All right. Nick Hart rolls out left. There he is, touchdown, the tight end, number 82, Luke Wilson. Fumble, picked up, inside the five, touchdown, Cameron Nuoso. We saw that happen earlier this year. Looking left, fires, end zone, touchdown. Vance McDonald, a busy man on that drive. The junior from Winnie, Texas, puts the Rice Owls on the board. For the Purdue win. wins the game 24 22 the 2012 rice owls offense can count on plenty of veterans at the skill positions led by one of the best tight end cores in the nation let's take a look head coach david bailiff has to say about the rice owls offense you know we're i tell you we're really excited about where we are offensively uh, at this point of camp uh taylor mccard you know you need to have a good quarterback he's going to touch the ball every snap and taylor mccard has really He's got his confidence back. He's got his swagger back. He's uh, really has had a command performance all to it. He's, uh, he has a complete understanding of what we're doing offensively. He just needs to manage manage the ball and manage the change, and he's got to distribute the ball to Charles Ross, to Sam McGuffey. We got three tight ends that I think really are some of the best in the country, and Taylor Cook, Vance McDonald, Luke Wilson. And on our perimeters, we have a lot of speed. Um, and Jordan Taylor. I tell you, Dennis Parks is a freshman, but he's really playing big right now. Dante Moore can really run. Andre Grotro's had a big camp. Uh, you know, and going into it, the offensive line was really the question mark. And I think they're just, they're really, we're just so much more athletic in that area when they make a mistake uh, that they're athletic enough to recover. And so, you know, a lot of times we've made a, a mistake where there's been a line twist and they may have their head in the wrong place, but they can push over and with their long arms and get a piece of the defensive player and, and knock him by the quarterback. So, you know, from offensively, I'm really, really excited about what I think we can do uh, scoring some points this year. Thanks to the influence of Chris Thurman on the Rice Isles defense, and he is the new defensive coordinator, you will see a completely different personality from this Rice defense. He coached the secondary last year, and the personnel absolutely loves him. So obviously, the Rice defense will be able to take complete advantage of that. Look for a lot of experience in the secondary as well as the linebacker positions. What you'll see along the defensive line, added strength and size. I think Rice fans can be completely excited about that. Here's the head coach David Bailiff to give you a preview of the 2012 Rice defense. You start in the middle. You you start with Hosam. Uh, he's you know he's right there. He's about 6'3". He's 295. He's really physical. Runs well. Christian Covington's the same size. Um, uh, Stuart Muchentoff, Ross Winship. They're all the same size. So they're big guys that can run. You know we lost Scott Solomon. Obviously was a draft pick. But we've added Jared Williams is back. We added Cody Byer, who started. People forget he started a year ago, and then set out last season with the knee. So Cody Byer's back, and then moving uh, Tanner Leland down from safety uh, to defensive end. You know he's already 240 pounds, and you know so that's three really fast defensive ends uh, that can disrupt. That whole D line can really be disruptive now. And then Cam Nawasu, who. Uh, you know, led the team in tackles last year. Is just he's he's bigger, faster, uh, more wily than he's ever been. He makes play after play after play. He's somebody that's really a, a sideline to sideline linebacker. Kyle Prater is is starting at the other one to transfer from LSU, who last year helped us 
uh, at defensive end, but he's had a really nice two of days. Corey Frazier's back in the secondary. Bryce Callahan's back. Paul Porras is back. We moved Malcolm Hill from corner. He was our third corner last year. Moved him to strong safety. And Philip Gaines, who, who missed most of last season, is back. So, you know, we have we really have some veterans defensively that if you just look at your, a piece of paper, they're not listed as returning starters, but they've got a lot of football that they've played. While the Owls have one of the best kickers in the nation in Chris Boswell, coaches hope that he's only aiming at these during extra points this year, but he certainly has the leg for a lot of long field goals. Here's head coach David Bailiff on the rest of the Owls special teams. You know what, Chris is just, uh, I mean, he's the best I've ever been around. And he, it's like he never feels any pressure. You just watch him run out there and kick and jog back to the sideline. Not only is he a weapon for us, from the field goal standpoint, but from kickoffs. You know, they've moved the ball up five. You know, now we can decide if we want to drive it through the end zone or do we want to pop kick, you know, and try to trap them. He can, he can place a ball off his foot better than any person I've ever seen too, as far as, you know, we want it to go to the, the right hash at approximately the 10. He's going to put it at the right hash at about the 10. And I mean, he just has that kind of control with it coming off his foot. And he's, uh, like I said, he's the best I've ever been around. We're working really hard with Cameron DeSalle. We've got to get him speeded up. Uh, you know, we're a little slow there getting the, the, the ball off his foot. We're going to speed that up. But we have a couple other candidates. Uh, but we sure hope Cameron can come through for us this year. If he's not ready, then, then we've got some other young men who we think will be. You've heard how hard head coach David Bailiff and the Rice House have been preparing for the 2012 football season on the field as well as in the weight room. What you probably didn't know is how hard Chad Koshin and the athletic department have been preparing Rice Stadium since last season for a very exhilarating fan experience. They want this place rocking when the Owls take on the UCLA Bruins on August 30th, 2012. Here's Chad Koshin to tell you more. The Together campaign, you know, actually blossomed out of a lot of discussions um, from early last spring. You know, we kept trying to figure out how we can take Rice to the next step. And the anchor word together kept arising. And, you know, we keep thinking, is it that simple? And we really feel like it is. You know, there's things we can do to develop Rice in many different ways. So with Together being the tagline, you know, we, we can put that in front of things. We're, we're always building together. We're always trying to win together. We're always trying to achieve together. And then ultimately, we all want to celebrate together as Rice. So, you know, we feel like it's a great fit of where we want to be and where we're trying to go. Furthermore, I, I think this isn't a Rice campaign. It, it's a campaign for our fans. It's a campaign for our student athletes. It's a campaign for the community of Houston. Really to take hold and buy into it, you know, because we are stronger together and we feel like it's very important very first game we're trying to really incorporate and reach out to push the together campaign is a couple things one the tailgate areas we want them to experience rice together you know before they even go to the stadium uh, you know we develop a new college row for all the colleges to get together and really you know have fun and celebrate rice before they walk in the stadium and cheer on the team um, in game wise uh, there's a couple options uh, there's the Make Memories Together promotion that we have going on where fans can actually send in um, their pictures and have them shown on the video board, um, showing them making memories at different Rice events or wearing Rice attire uh, to show their togetherness and they're part of Rice. Another thing is the Roost. Uh, we've moved it to an area where fans can actually sit in a prime seating location and enjoy a beverage or two and watch their owls compete. Finally, our Rice is Honor promotion, where we can recognize the uniqueness and passion of Rice fans, whether it be a longtime season ticket holder or an Al Club donor, or just somebody that's followed Rice for years that really exudes the passion of Rice fans. So we knew Thursday was going to be a little bit of a challenge, but it's the first day of college football. Uh, so we really wanted to take hold of that, you know. With a 6.30 game, it, it still gives you time to get to the stadium. But if you wanted to take off of work earlier, we got that covered. Uh, we got a little promotion going with 15.60 of the game, where Dr. John Granado is more than happy to give you a hall pass to bring back to work the next day uh, so you can play hooky. Yeah, you, you know, I think it's with the first game of college football, everybody 
in the country are excited to kick off. Uh, and so with a good opponent like UCLA, I, I don't see a better venue and a better place to come watch some college football. We're up here right now at the Roost, and is this a great view to watch a Rice Owls football game? The Owls are ready to go with all the great new things going on at Rice Stadium. All that's left is to talk about the opposition. Here's David Bailiff looking at the 2012 schedule in Conference USA. UCLA, I mean, geez, just the, the history and tradition of that program. I mean, we know they have a new coaching staff. They still went to a bowl game last year. I mean, they're a good football team uh, to get them at home. You know, that's, that's why you play this. We're going into that one expecting to, to win. You know, you look at our schedule, there's nobody we can't win or can't beat us on the first one. You don't want it any other way. And game four being Marshall heading into conference, I think this schedule this year really lays out nice for us. You know, instead of having to go to Texas, go to Baylor, go to Northwestern, you know, we're opening at home, and that, that's a big factor. Well, uh, you know, we play pretty good at home. Well, that's our office on game day, and I don't know about you, partner, but I'm certainly itching to get in there August 30. Yeah, I don't want to make this too personal, but this is my fifth season, and I expect it to be as exciting as the last four. So, no question, Rice football team will be good this season. Look for it. It's a 6.30 kickoff against UCLA coming up on Thursday. If you can't come out, please join us on 1560 The Game locally with Jorge Vargas and my man, Nate Griffin. Appreciate you tuning in to this 2012 football preview. We'll see you out here at Rice Stadium.